Matthew, please. Thanks, Lord Martin. I wanted to ask you about the, the, this uh, report on the, the UN's in the final stages of the conflict in Sri Lanka. Does this, does it being a, a included on, the, I guess, the agenda for this afternoon, does that mean the report is actually now going to be released? And have there been any steps taken to implementing any of the, the recommendations uh, that are made in it? And also on Sri Lanka, there's the, the Commonwealth Head of uh, Governments meeting coming up in Colombo. At least two prime ministers are, are not attending in re regarding accountability issues. And I wanted to know, does the UN have any involvement in in, in and around Colombo during the Chagam, do they, do you, does the Secretary General or the UN system see any, anything that should take place during this meeting with regard to accountability for war crimes issues? I don't have any comment, comment on the Commonwealth uh, Heads of Government uh, meeting. Uh, and uh, with regard to the, the report that you refer to, I would simply ask you to listen to what the Secretary General has to say this afternoon. Yes. Great. Thanks. Well, I'd like to ask about uh, <coughs> Sri Lanka and Mali. I know on Sri Lanka, I've, I've, I wanted to just ask you because this, this uh, Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting is beginning to think things are kind of heating up. There's been an incident in which the media, uh, Channel 4 and others, were not allowed to go to the north <coughs> of the country where the final stages of the conflict took place. And also families of the disappeared were blocked by the army uh, from going to Colombo to, to speak to the visiting heads of government. So I'm just, given that this, this meeting has begun and is something of a, of a, William Hague, for example, has you know, spoken out against the blocking of the press going to the north, I'm just wondering, is there anyone, given the UN's role in, in, in Sri Lanka, at least since 2009, who in the, in the secretary is kind of watching this? Do you have anything to say about the rights of the press to cover this meeting and what should take place uh, uh, while there's this focus on the country and its recent past? Well, obviously, the, the journalists uh, should be free to cover the Commonwealth Heads of Government uh, meeting, uh, of course. They, they should be free to do that. They should also be free to carry out uh, the work that they uh, wish to carry out uh, unhindered. That's uh, a standard uh, practice and a standard uh, line that you will have heard from me many times before, Matthew, uh, with regard to... to uh, th whether we are monitoring the uh, Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting, yes, of course, that's the case. I don't have any particular comment uh, beyond that at this stage. Okay, have a good afternoon. Thanks very much.